Hello. Congratulations to Viktor Orban and the Fidesz party for winning strongly the general election in Hungary. The fourth time of trying, he has won a super majority in the Hungarian parliament. He's been strongly opposed by the establishment in Brussels. The whole, apart from Hungary, um, not many countries in Europe have stood up in support of uh, Hungarian sovereignty. Hungary has made a very strong stance in favour of the family, in favour of uh, strong borders, in favour of strong opposition to the imposition of cultural Marxism from Brussels. And when given the chance, and, and when the Hungarian people were given the chance to have their say on uh, the direction in which they want to push their country, they decided that they want Viktor Orban, Fidesz party, and the uh, pro-life, pro-family, pro-national sovereignty, pro-personal freedom policy platform, which Fidesz offered. The whole victory of Fidesz will cause great consternation with people like Guy Verhofstadt, the liberal so-called, actually they're not liberal at all, they're authoritarian, aren't they? Uh, junta in Brussels who want to impose with cultural imperialism, wish to him impose their vision of Europe across the whole EU, that national sovereignty be damned and, well, at least the people of Hungary and of Poland have stood against them. And there was also a referendum on parental rights and education that uh, which was passed very strongly as well like uh, in the 90s that uh, came up that the vast vast majority of people who voted in the national referendum wished to uphold parental rights and education they did not want this lgbtiq transsexual ideology shoved down the throats of their children they wanted to maintain parental rights. They want to maintain, uh, uphold uh, the innocence of children who should not be sexualized at such an early age. They want age-appropriate education. And uh, they also wish to uphold the shouldn't, that young children should not be confused or groomed by the LGBTIQ minus lobby with all this stuff about uh, men or women all the sexualization of children is completely inappropriate it's wrong it's dangerous and luckily for the people for uh, in this hungarian referendum the people of hungary rejected it and they show a light for the rest of europe i was at a demographics uh, conference hosted by the hungarian government in october they say light comes from the east and certainly in regards to Poland and Hungary, the whole thing of standing up for the continuation of European civilization against the destructive forces of cultural Marxism is very strong and very explicit. They know what's at stake. They are willing to stand up to protect their children from child grooming, early sexualization, and the filling other heads with biological bunkum that a man is a woman, etc. So congratulations once again to the people of Hungary. They show a great light to the people of Europe. Uh, and you know what? Ireland should take heart from Hungary that uh, we too have our part to stand up for our children, for biology over ideology and that also we need to think about the long-term maintenance and prosperity of Ireland and Irish culture as a civilization and not just an economic rock in the middle of the Atlantic stuck between two English-speaking landmasses of Great Britain and America. My name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party. Goro Margetson.